vlog too much today because I've just been going through a lot of planning and figuring out what my future holds. Um, so basically, like, um, you know, I've just been like kind of studying, working, like catching up on multifamily notes. Um, and I edited a vlog too this morning. Um, and then like later in the afternoon, my um, family aunt, family relative, yeah, her name is um, Dolly. Dolly came by with her son Pipe and his daughter. And um, we just kind of like hung out. Like they were just there with the baby and stuff and like talking. Wow. And then me and Pipe and Pipe. <laughs> me oh, and Pipe no. ended up talking. Um, and we were just talking about, like, um, we were talking about his, like, his relationship. Like, I was like, oh, when'd you get married and stuff? And then that kind of led into, like, us talking about, like, petroleum and, like, the war and stuff like that. I don't want to, like, talk too much about it because I don't know what that means. But, but, yeah, he was basically talking about how, like, gas prices are going up because of the war and stuff. And the way he was talking about it, he seemed, like, really passionate about it. And then, like, one conversation led to the next, and he was like, yeah, I'm a chemical engineering major. Oh. I knew he was in engineering, but I didn't know he was in chemical. Oh. And I was like, oh, you're in chemical, you're chemical. I didn't know he was a chemical. I was like, oh, you're a chemical engineer? Oh, so he took, like, Orgo oh. 1 and 2. He was like, yeah, I went up to Bio 2, um, Biochem 2, and I, Biochem 1 in Italy. Oh. He did Biochem 1 in Italy. And I was like, oh, well, uh, I did Biochem 2. And I was like, yeah, it's really oh. cool. We're just kind of like, you know when, like, you do something that, like, you it's hard to, like, come across people that are into the same thing as you. Obviously, like, back in college, like, you, it's not hard to, like, come across someone that's, like, taken organic and, like, biochemistry. But, like, when it's, like, someone that you, like, kind of, like, grew up with and, like, you don't really expect. I mean, I wasn't surprised. But it's, like, it was, like, we kind of connected. I was, like, oh, my God, like, you you, like, you, like, you really like chemistry? Like, I really like chemistry, too. Oh, my God, this baby. <laughs> And so, yeah, that was super cool. And so, um, so yeah, so just that conversation, we were talking about, like, USF and stuff. He went to USF for chemical engineering, and I went to USF for, like, a semester. And then we are just basically talking about college and stuff. And then after that conversation, like, I just wanted to talk more. Like, I said, as soon as he was, like, I took biochem, like, I just, I, I could have, like, lost it. Like, I, <laughs> he's like, yeah, we gotta go soon. I was, <laughs> I was like, can we just stay and talk about biochem? <laughs> Like, so just, like, that energy, and it's really crazy how, like, when you speak to someone that's, like, into the same thing as you, or, like, doing better than you, it really motivates you, and, like, I don't know what it did to me, and I've just been seeing, like, a bunch of, like, um, like, um, what is it called? Greek life, I've been seeing a lot of Greek life videos on, on like, YouTube, I've been seeing, like, yeah, just in general, like, YouTube videos of, like, HBCUs. Like, I've even seen this one girl at FAMU. And I was just like, oh, my God. Like, something is telling me to, like, go back to FAMU. Like, I've just been seeing so much about FAMU. Like, it's just really been on my heart. Um, Not even, like, FAMU has been on my heart, but also, like, just finishing my undergrad um, biology. Like, I was, I think I'm, like, molecular. No, I'm not molecular biology. I think I'm just biological sciences. I don't know. So I just need to finish my biology degree, and then it's just like, I just have this calling to like finish, like, I'm doing my multifamily, I'm obviously doing my content creation, I'm doing my blog, I'm, and then when I get to a good place, I'm going to start my dropshipping store, and then now I just really want to go back to school. And one of the things that's telling me to go back to school is like, I know I have so much on my plate, like more than is like, girl, like chill out, it's not that, but it is that serious, y'all. And everything kind of has its like reason, you know what I mean? Like I put so much time into drop, learning how to drop ship. I put so much time into learning how to blog. I'm already like really like deep into like content creation and I need to learn how, I need to buy, learn how to buy multifamily because that's where... I'm going to put all this money and, like, you know, really create cash flow and, like, really pass down, like, true assets down to the kids. You know what I mean? Like, my YouTube channel can get deleted. My website can get put down. I can not end up with a job after I graduate. Like, there's so many things. But, like, if I just... That's why I'm really, like, I'm really serious about multifamily. 
Because it's like when you have a real asset and you know how to really manage it, like there's almost nothing that can go wrong, you know what I mean? As long as you don't over leverage and like, you know, like aren't able to pay like your debt back and stuff. Like there's a lot of things that could go wrong, but we're not obviously like the good, the bigger pictures to be able to like, yes, sir. Every time he sees me like really passionate about something, I cry. So yeah, guys. So, so basically, after that conversation, so yeah, I just, I, I just really, and so, along with you know just like all these things that are like, and all these things create substantial amount of income. Like I'm not doing like no play play like, yeah, selling like, lip gloss or like digital products. Oh, and I have my course too, my back to your vaginal score. But I don't really consider that like as a, in like it soon will be income stream. But I'm not like. Like, it is what it is. Like, it's just there whenever someone purchases it. But, like, these other things I have to, like, actively, like, work on. You know what I mean? Like, when I created the website, obviously I had to learn how to do that. But now the website is up. Like, the course is there. Like, there's not really much for me to do. And so... Uh, yeah, so... Um, these things create a lot of income. You know what I mean? Like, I like there's no cap on how much I can make as a content creator... There's no cap on how much I can make from my blog, and that's why I like these things. There's no cap how much I can make on drop shipping, and so why wouldn't I do these things? You know what I mean? Like, I and like a lot of success. I've heard a lot of successful people say like just focus on one thing, but it's like when you've already been. I think it'd be different. I think that applies to like right now. If I go learn a new thing, you know what I mean? Like maybe that wouldn't be smart. But because I already, like, try to learn all these things and, like, the things are still sort of fresh in my head and I just need to, like, add, just learn a little bit more to get it, like, you know, get the wheels turning. That's why I'm, like, just go all in. It's not like I'm, like, yeah, let me go learn, like, how to trade or, like, how to, like, you know, let me go buy crypto. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know how to do that, so I would have to learn. Like, I'm not going to learn a whole new task like that. But because I've already, like, have an idea of how these things work, it's, like, pretty, like, it's, like, a brain no-brainer to just finish, you know what I mean? Like, drop shipping. I already know what apps I need. I already know um, how I'm going to market it. I already... It would take me a minute to, like, learn how to, like, get, like, you know, put the store together. But it's pretty much, like, I already know how to, like, set up the shipping. Not really. Like, there's some things that was, those would be little learning curves I'd need to, like, accomplish. But, like, overall, like, I know how to drop ship, you know what I'm saying? And so with the blog, too, like, I already know SEO. I already know what apps I need. I um, I still want to buy a blogging course. But, like, for the most part, like, I know SEO. I know how to set up my blog. I know my Pinterest strategy. I know, like, all these things. Like, there's, like, there's a little few more things I need to learn and, like, get, like, confident in. But, like, overall, like, I know. And so, yeah, that's why I'm just going to go all in. And, yeah, so just after, like, speaking to him, I was just like, dang, I really want to go back to school. Because I would hate, like, I feel like I'm in competition with, like, a non-existent person. Because I would hate if, like, another one of me, like, another single mom with two kids that lived with her grandma became a successful blogger, content creator, bought apartments, had her degree... And, like, accomplish all those things. And then I did it because of whatever excuse I come up with. You know what I mean? So, like, it would kill me if I met another person that's in my situation. Accomplish the same things that I want to. Like, that would just be like, oh, damn, bitch. Like, I convinced myself that it wasn't possible. And clearly you did it. So, I'm not going to have that happen to me. Like, I'm not going to meet someone. I'm not going to, like, set up my life to where I can meet someone in my future. And they're in a much better place than me because, and they were in the same place as me. They got to a much better place and they were in the same place. Like, no, we're not going to do that. Like, I am going to be the successful one. Like, I am going to, like, break through all these barriers and prove everyone wrong. So, yeah, guys, so that's the news. I don't know if I told you guys I was giving you news, but that's the news. I will be moving back to Tallahassee, Florida, and attending Florida Agriculture and Mechanical University again. Super excited. I'm going to call today Saturday. I'm going to call Monday. Um, 
you know, just get my information. Like, I don't even know my student ID. Like, I don't know how to sign into iRattler. So I need to, like, get into all those systems and all that. And then I need to set up an appointment with an advisor. I know I gotta pay a lot of money. <laughs> I'm probably gonna have to pay a lot of money. But fine, I'm not trying to worry. Like, I know there's gonna be uh, some money I have to pay. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna get FAFSA again because every time I get FAFSA, I would end up like withdrawing from courses and stuff. So I think FAFSA like doesn't trust me or something. So I'm okay if I have to pay out of pocket for my classes. I just really want to finish. So I'm not trying to like let the financial part of it like, you know, over. I'm not trying to overthink it and like start to back out because like oh the finances like no I'm gonna figure out the finances God willing. Um, the only thing now is just, like, the kids. Like, I still, I was thinking about putting them in daycare, but, you know, just thinking about what Erica Commissar says and how daycares are not good for kids and how your kids need you to be with them, especially between zero to three years. Basically, like, their whole life, your kids need you. So, um, daycare is still not an option, but I'm thinking um, once I get a better idea of, like, my classes, my schedule, um, I can hire a sitter. So what I want to do is I want to hi hire a sitter to come according to my class schedule and have her meet me on campus and have her be with the kids, entertain the kids, feed the kids, change the kids for like that hour or so that I'm in class. So that's what I'm going to see. I'm probably going to have to hire multiple babysitters because depending, like if I have a class at 9 a.m., obviously I'm not going to have that same sitter unless she can. But, I don't know, that'd probably be, like, annoying to, like, have to deal with a child and then have to come back and see the same child. Like, I'd rather just have, like, a new person come. So, we'll see how banking I am to hire multiple sitters to come out. So, for example, if I have a 9 a.m. class, I'll have one sitter come for, like, the hour. I mean, unless they work, unless we do well, I'm just assuming, like, I would never hire a sitter. But if the sitter is okay with coming back and they're free, like, I wouldn't mind having that. That would be better having the same person. But obviously I, I haven't gotten to that place yet, but that's just an idea. Um, and yeah, that's just how we'll do it. Um, just have a sitter just come meet me and while the kids are in class. And, that, and I think that would kind of like, it would still be kind of like, well, they're still not with me. But I would feel much better at peace and just, like, knowing that they're, like, around the corner or they're, like, outside, like, in the sun, like, on a walk or something with the sitter. Like, that would make me feel good. Um, and I trust the campus for the most part, so I'm not worried about, like, any crazy thing happening. I just need a responsible sitter, of course. Um, and there's cameras, like, all over the campus. So, yeah. So, then now, so basically with that being said, so now I have to find a house because I'm not going to do an apartment. And so that's what I need to do. Like, I need to focus a lot on, like, getting videos up. Right now, I just, I'm about to get paid from YouTube $132. I got monetized in February. It is April. So, from February to the beginning of April or late March, I have made $132. And so with that money, I was going to save it, but considering I have all these things to do, I want to buy things that, like, make me, like, comfortable and, like, I'm able to get work done with the kids. So I was going to get a playpen. I probably still am going to get a playpen, but first I want to get, like, a bed frame for this because I'm scared the baby's going to fall off. And sometimes we co- well, we, we co-sleep, like, every night, so... That would kind of let me have a bit more ease. I don't have to worry about the baby um, rolling off the bed. Right now he hasn't, thank God. Neither has Max. But that was part of the reason why I like to sleep on the floor. Because I didn't have to worry about them falling off. But it is more comfortable sleeping on a bed. Obviously with a bed frame. I don't have to worry about the bed shifting and stuff. And having to put it in place. So I'm going to get a bed frame. And since I'm going to get a bed frame. I, um going to get like um, a little laptop desk. I want to get a laptop desk so I can get work done here on my bed and so that's one of the things I need to get but I also want to get like a playpen that kind of has like a little fence around it so that the kids can play like well if we're ever like in, well when we're in the living room and stuff they can play in that area. So I'm going to get the fence for the bed and then the playpen. I need to get a whiteboard because now that I'm going to be studying again, 
and I'm going to start doing YouTube videos so you guys can start. I don't really know. I'm going to obviously do vlogs. I just need a better phone because this phone doesn't have that much storage. So once I upgrade to a better phone, I'm going to be doing vlogs and tutorials. So I'll be doing tutorials on chemistry, physics, um, biology, biochemistry, organic chemistry, um, and yeah, those topics. And so you guys will kind of see that shift. And so basically the reason I'm making the videos is one, you learn better when you teach. And then two, I kind of want to like look back on the videos if I ever like forget something and I need to like refresh. Um, my form of studying this time around, I'm not going to be, I'm going to still take notes I think. But I'm going to, no I don't even think I'm going to take notes to scratch that. I'm going to do flashcards. I may do notes to kind of gather my thoughts but everything is going to go into flashcards. So I'm going to start doing more flashcards and I'm going to be doing like tests and like practice tests because that's going to like help really like make help me like understand whether I know a topic or not because when I was in college I spent a lot of time doing notes like I was like a really good note taker but a terrible test taker and so I'm hoping this time around I'll, with the flashcards I can like you know retain more information so yeah guys so I have to get a whiteboard I have to get expo markers for the whiteboard and then I need to get a tripod you girls getting a tripod actually scratch that I'm not getting a tripod because I'm going to put it right here so yeah I don't need a tripod just kidding um yeah I'm trying to get like necessities um technically the playpen I don't even think I'm gonna get the playpen honestly like, because the kids can just play on the floor. Like, Max is not even going to stay in it anyways. And I can just put a blanket on the floor. Um, but I do want the little thing for the bed because the bed gives me anxiety. So, yeah, guys, that is where I'm at. That is the place I'm heading. So, I still haven't gotten down packed how I'm going to study for... And then I'm going to take the MCAT, too. So, I have to study for the MCAT, study for my classes study the blog like learn more stuff about the blog study real estate like y'all i am literally like i'm ready for it i am so ready for it i'm excited and it's kind of like elena cardone says she's just like juggling like one thing when one thing is lacking she pays attention to it and then when things are doing good she lets like i don't know if that makes sense so basically she's juggling so if something needs like attention she takes she does that first and then she, like, as soon as anything is falling, that's what she gives attention to. So, for example, if I'm in a good place with YouTube, then I will just focus on, like, blogging. Because I haven't done blogging in a while. Once I'm in a good place with blogging, like, okay, I need to catch up on multifamily. And that's, like, I'm just going to try to juggle that out. Because I can't stop doing none of these things. Because if I stop learning about the blog, it's going to be more work on me trying to learn how to re-blog again. If I stop doing real estate, I'm going to have to relearn real estate if I stop doing YouTube, I'm going to have to relearn, like, how to edit. Not edit, but, you know, like, I'm just going to... I don't want to lose my flows to all these things. And I've already kind of lost my flow, obviously, with, like, my STEM topics and stuff. So, yeah, so tonight I have to, like... Uh, I'm going to search up some syllabuses and just kind of get a better idea of, like, what how to pace myself. So I'm going to start off with general chemistry and then, so I need to get, like, all the topics for general chemistry. And then I'm going to give myself timelines. Like, okay, by this week, you need to have covered, like, acids and bases. Um, I don't even know any. Electrons, like, protons. Like, you know, like, stuff like that. Like, I need to... You ready for me to change? All right, guys. Okay, so, that's what I'm going to be doing tonight. I'll try to vlog me brainstorming, but that's kind of, like, my time to focus. And I'm not... This phone, I would, but this phone is out of storage. Yeah, change your shirt. This phone runs out of storage really quickly, so I don't want to keep having to, like, get on my phone and, like, upload a video, delete videos. Like, I'm trying to just focus and, like, knock it out. So, yeah, guys, so that's where I'm at. I'm excited, so I'm going to, we are going to be moving. Like, I'm manifesting it. We are going to be moving back to Tallahassee in August, me and the kids. I'm not taking the dogs. And so I have to like find places. I have to find a car. <laughs> Me and the kids really could take a bus. Yeah, we could just take the bus. It's not that serious. We could take the bus because then I gotta worry about parking and all that. So yeah, we'll just be taking the bus. Um, so we'll see where we end up moving and how transportation works for us. But 
I'm leaning more towards taking a bus because I'm not trying to really be out and about like that. Tallahassee has crazy drivers. Um, and then hopefully I can just find a friend, you know what I mean? Like, hopefully I can find, like, a husband or something. You know what I mean? So hopefully, like, I can just have friends, like, help me with rides and stuff. But I'm just more so worried about finding a good place to live. I found a really good place. The rent is 4400 so they want a $4,400 deposit down. So that's nine, that's $8,800 I have to put down if I want to get the place. So I gotta start uploading videos, y'all. Alright, bye. See you tomorrow, and I'll catch you guys up with what I do tomorrow and works that we're moving towards moving out soon to Tallahassee. Go Rattlers! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna change your shirt. De cuál la tallita o la hermosa? Scroll down in the 
the settings section you have that Google Analytics, let's click on that, and just scroll down here. Plug in settings, let's click on it. Here's GA tracking ID. And now we we'll need to go to Google Analytics 4. Let's go. And now make sure it's G4. Yeah, and we want it to show up in the header all devices active. Okay, so then we would just paste it right there and then just click save. Okay, so that's one option that we can do if we have to install this code manually. And I'll show you just how it looks like on Wix if you want to install it manually. So on Wix, you can go ahead and click settings and then click custom code. And then uh, this client already has it integrated on their website, but if we were just like in...
to install Google Analytics WordPress. Oh. Once the WordPress sidekick is expressed, until the setup is complete, just click the sidekick is installed and activated. It's time to complete the setup. You should see this banner appear to progress. Just click the big button. Now log in with your main Google account and ensure that both these boxes are ticked when the confirmation screen pops up. Next, just click the big blue button until the setup.